Now, when we reviewed the iPad 3, and it really wasn't too long ago, right? We said that the iPad 3 was about the same speed in terms of opening apps and web browsing performance as the iPad 2, which was kind of a good thing, but it was a little bit laggy at times uh, when doing a lot of heavy web browsing and launching intense apps and so forth. That was because the the iPad 3 has the same chip as the iPad 2, just with more GPU cores. Uh, in the case of the iPad 4, Apple put the A6X chip in there. So it's a similar chip that, to what is found in the iPhone 5, but it has an additional GPU core. And so it's got a lot of technologies to make it a lot faster. So in this video, we're going to test in four different areas. One, startup time. Two, Wi-Fi performance three app load time, and four web browsing performance. So let's start with the first test. Let's see which one of these turns on faster. They're both updated to iOS 6.0.1, so they're running the latest, and let's see which turns on faster. All right, and they're off. Again, the iPad 4 is in white, and the iPad 3 is in black. Should be easy to remember. We're waiting to get to the lock screen first to determine a winner. And iPad 4 beat the iPad 3 by about two seconds. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is make sure all programs are cleared out of memory. We've got two here. We'll just clear them out. And then we're going to launch apps. Let's start with Temple Run. It's kind of a 3D game. It's not the most intense game, but it does have 3D graphics. Let's see which loads it first. One, two, three, go. Okay, the iPad 4 was ahead about two seconds, and we'll click play just to play for a second. It's virtually impossible to play two games of Temple Run at the same time. I encourage you to try it at home, see if you can do it. Let's see how long I can go. All right, this is too easy right now. I uh, really can't detect a difference in this game. Again, it's not the most intense game, uh, but it definitely did open faster on the iPad 4. Let's try Facebook. One, two, three, launch. Okay, so again, about a half a second to a second, maybe a little bit uh, more quick than the iPad 3. And there's really no difference in scrolling. I guess you could say it's a little bit smoother, but it's really impossible to tell. Uh, next thing we're going to do is launch the App Store. One, two, three, launch. And they're pulling up different screens. Let's press Featured at the same time. Okay, a little bit faster on the iPad 4. And you can see I haven't been through this screen yet. And let's click on the same thing. Okay, a little bit faster on the iPad 4. That seems to be the summary here. Okay, now we're going to launch the Wall Street Journal app. One, two, three, launch. And faster on the iPad 4 by about a, by about a second and a half. And let's go into the web browser, do some web browsing speed tests. Um, keep getting some email notifications over here. We're going to different sites here. We're going to close out the browsers and go to Pocket Now at the exact same time, and we'll circle back and do a Wi-Fi test in a minute. So, see if we can get this at the same time. Might have to come around on the camera here. All right, the same time. Actually faster on the iPad 4, it looks like it finished first. It looked like for a second that the iPad 3 was going to win. And we're gonna hit the desktop version. One, two, three, go. Okay, the iPad 3 finished first. That's interesting. Let's see which clears up text more quickly. So pull out and then release. Let's do that again. That was exactly at the same time. That is inconclusive. Wow. Okay, so let's click on a story. Let's go to something with a video here. And the winner is the iPad 4 by a little bit. Bit. Actually, that is still loading, so that's a lot bit, and maybe that kind of tripped it up. Let's play this video, see which gets it up on the screen first. Go. Hey guys, hey guys it's Brandon. We've been from Podcast. Slightly faster on the iPad 4. It's really not that big of a difference, which is actually kind of disappointing, to be honest. But I'm glad we're doing this video, right? Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's zoom in over here, and then we'll go to another web page, then we'll do a Wi Fi test. Okay, a little bit faster here on the iPad 4. iPad 3 seems to get bogged down at the last minute. Let's release and see. Oh, that was not accurate. Let's try that again. We'll go to some text at the bottom here. Try to get the same size. One, two, three. Exactly the same time. Okay, so let's go to another site. Let's go to The Verge real quick. Go. 
at the same time. Amazing. <laughs> um, okay, so it's loading. Very image intense web page here. Let's see which gets there first. The iPad 3. This is very, very odd. Okay, let's click in on a story here. Exactly the same time, maybe the iPad 4 by like a quarter of a second. So with these unscientific tests, it looks like that in terms of web browsing performance, the iPad 4 might be slightly better, but it's not that big of a difference, which is good for all of you that own an iPad 3 out there because you don't have to feel like you're missing out. Now let's do a speed test. Uh, previously it was not working. Let's see if it'll work now. So we're going to open up the app. Opened up a little bit faster on the iPad 4. Let's do them at the exact same time. Never a good idea, but we'll see what happens. We want a faster ping. Okay, a faster ping on the iPad 3. We want a faster down speed. Looks like it's faster on the iPad 3. That's really crazy. And it seems to have froze on the iPad 4. But like I mentioned, there's been a problem with the speedtest.net app today. The point is here in this comparison is that the iPad 4 seems to be a little bit faster than the iPad 3, but definitely not enough for you to go out if you have an iPad 3 and buy an iPad 4. If you're coming from an iPad 2, the difference will be huge. Uh, iPad 4 is a great choice unless you want to wait for the iPad 5, which probably will be out in the springtime. But what we can conclude now is that there's not that big of a difference between the iPad 3 and the iPad 4 in terms of performance. Maybe it's a matter of a software update. Maybe we need to do this in different kinds of tests. And maybe the iPad 4 would kick butt with really high FPS gaming. But in terms of boot up time, web browsing performance, app launching speed, and Wi-Fi performance, it's almost a draw. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. That's it for now.